But let's start with Zach. A game we've had circled on the calendar for months. The Cowboys come to Miami. A similar narrative for both these teams. Very they similar, pound, similar teams. They pound the teams below 500, and they both struggle with teams over 500. The Cowboys 0 and 3 on the road versus over 500 teams. Dolphins 10 wins on the season. Guess how many versus over 500 teams? Zero. 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 Whoa, 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 whoa. The Broncos. The Broncos. I don't. Oh. Are they over? I don't think they're over 500 anymore. Oh, they're seven and seven now. They're seven and seven now. Uh, Bring it back. Almost, almost. Bring, almost. <laughs> not over, though. Not over 500. So we have a really fun matchup where Miami finally hosts one of these big games. That's what Zach always says. We always have to go on the road. It's never in our building where we beat people up. Number one offense in the league in Miami, scoring-wise. Number two in Dallas. It's a. It's going to be a really fun game to watch. Dynamic playmakers on both sides. Uh, and Miami here, this is your chance, Zach. We've been asking all season to see what you're made of. Dallas, Baltimore, Buffalo. You win those all three of those, you're the one seed, and it goes through Miami. This would be the best season of your life, right? Is this already the best season of your life as a Dolphins fan? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty easily, right? I mean, I would say so for sure. I mean, when was the last time they were in line for a number one seed, potentially? I, I can't I, I mean, can't remember it. Twenty years. Yeah, not even the last couple of centuries. But for, for decades. For me here, before I throw it off to you guys, I'm gonna take a page out of your book, Jack. I think this comes down to the run game again. Because last week you said Buffalo is going to have to beat Dallas on the ground. And James Cook went off for 179 yards. We've seen a Buffalo in total 266. Dallas has allowed 170 or more rushing yards three times this year. You can expose them there. And who happens to be the number four rushing team in football? Zach's Miami Dolphins. Raheem Mostert set the franchise record with 18 touchdowns last or 18 touchdowns on the season now rushing. 18. 18. 18 rushing, right? Oh, is he 18 rushing? Okay. I'm pretty sure 18 There's rushing for most. Is Tyreek Hill healthy? He's got 20. Tyreek Hill should be back. A chain, you know how many yards Devon A chain averages per carry? 8.5. Sheesh. It's insane. If you look at the average yards per carry list, it's like quarterbacks with you know 10 rushing attempts, receivers, and then A chain with 72, who's just. Miami has a very talented backfield. And that's where I think they're going to need to try and win against Dallas, who's going to be missing. Jonathan Hankins again, uh, winning the trenches there, but there are some concerns with your O line, Zach. So that's that's what I'm highlighting. I mean, to me, this is like you said before. This is two unbelievably similar teams with a very similar track record this season. But Dallas, this comes down to where the game is being played because Dallas all season long has been very hard to trust in these situations, probably more so than Miami even has. Like Dallas has gone. I view Miami as a team who can win the Super Bowl, just like San Francisco. Buffalo, one of the hottest teams in the league right now. Dallas has gone on the road to teams like that with good quarterbacks and tough offenses to stop, and they've gotten absolutely horsewhipped twice. <laughs> so nothing <laughs> nothing is, is leading me to back Dallas on the road against the best offense in football. Okay. So I, I'm, I'm going to go with, uh, with Miami based on Dallas's track record on the road against Super Bowl contenders this past year. If this is in Dallas, I'd, I'd say Dallas. Ziggy, what do you think? Will Dallas bounce back from uh, from last weekend? I think you have to be concerned about their performance last week, right? I mean, you had Dak Prescott turn in one of the worst performances of the year and, frankly, one of the worst performances of his career against a secondary that's been pretty bad all year. And I get that the Dolphins have injuries there too, right? Xavier Howard is out on the offense. You've got a variety of players who missed practice. So certainly, like, neither team is fully healthy going into this. But the Cowboys' offense has impressed me against bad defenses. But when they've really needed to step up, it hasn't happened this year. So I definitely think there's something to be worried about. I mean, the run game hasn't improved at all. And I'm just not sure Dak Prescott's going to be up for the challenge. That's been strange all season. Coming into the, the year, we were expecting Tony Pollard to be this breakout running back, especially after what we saw at the end of last season. And... I really, I feel like he hasn't done much of anything this year to get my attention, at least. It's all been Dak, and the emergence of CD has been pretty spectacular this season. I mentioned it right at the very end of my spiel at the beginning, but the Miami offensive line with Taron Armstead has an ankle injury. Austin Jackson's dealing with an oblique issue. Robert Hunt, a hamstring issue. Liam Eikenberg, they all missed practice Wednesday. Liam Eikenberg, your center, is also also having problems. That whole unit, is in shambles at the moment. And a reporter asked Mike McDaniel, he said, what's the status of your O-line? 
And he looked, did you see this? He looked over at the, the report and just went, bro. <laughs> so the one spot to worry about as a Dolphins fan is, can you? will you be healthy enough up front against Micah Parsons and that Dallas D-line? You know, that's a big question mark there, especially if you're going to try and run the ball down their throats. Um, so that's my concern, but I do like Miami. I know I've been talking about Dallas a lot lately, but I like Miami to, to win this game as well. I like Miami too, and I also, uh, I also like the under. What do what I, is I, the I think this I, whatever it is I think it'll be super inflated and these two teams are very underrated defensively because everyone talks about their offenses fifty and a half like I, I might actually go over I thought it would be high that's why you should take the under is when the number you hear the number you think I'll tell you what I'm watching this game more than anything else I think you're absolutely right that it's going to be decided in the run game the thing I am most interested to watch is what the Cowboys do with Micah Parsons. Because Micah Parsons, they don't, he's a very good run defender, but they usually use him in pass rush. And this makes sense, right? Well, what's Zach doing creeping up onto the camera here? Zach is trying to, like, he, he wants some airtime. Zach wants is air trying time. to get rid of a little hissing audio sound right now. Yeah. He's doing an, right, he's, fair he's doing an okay he's job. He's working behind the scenes here. Um, all, all I'm saying is, is if you're the Cowboys, I think you should really consider playing Parsons at off ball linebacker a little bit more, even though you want to play him at edge rusher. Cause if you can shut down the running game for Miami, I think that's the key to beating this team in a game that figures to be pretty high scoring as one would think, as one would imagine, uh, I would lean towards Miami because of what, what you said before, they're a little bit more three dimensional when it comes to both a decent run game and the weapons. Look what they did last week against one of the best defenses in football without Tyree Kill. They went up and down the field. He scored 30 points. So I think Dallas lacks a bit of a run game. Dak's been great. CD's been great. But Miami overall on the offensive side of the ball, I think can score a few more points and win a shootout than, uh, Miami, than Dallas Miami's can. defense can also get after Dak. Their defense is under yeah, they're very underrated defense. They're 48 sacks and they're number 1 in the league in QB hits. So like they're like they can get there and make and get pressure. So it'll, it'll be fun though. Home field in this game for me was was huge in picking the Dolphins. Yeah, I I, I can't wait to see Miami at home in one of these games. Yeah. If, if they win, a lot of people are going to start to consider them a, I I don't want to say they're not Super Bowl contender cuz they absolutely are, but they'll get more national media attention as hey Maybe this team can actually go and win the Super Bowl because people are downing it at the moment.